Okay, today we're going to be working on this old Mercedes. Um, it's an 88 E 300 series. Got a fuel leak on this one. Um, we had a pump put on it a few months ago. It started leaking gas. We believe that these are going to be the uh, the culprits, the little brass washers that go on the banjo fittings of this thing. And uh, these are dealer item only. Got to get them at the dealership. But, uh, let's jack it up and see what's going on. As with all fuel leak problems, one of the first things you're going to want to do is relieve your tank pressure. You hear that noise? It's tank pressure. You want to relieve your tank pressure. Um, before you open any lines and you do that by removing the fuel cap okay so we're gonna jack the car up here on Mercedes they have um, jack points all the way around the vehicle the little uh, pads that you, you put your floor jack on we're just going to use a hydraulic two-ton floor jack and lift this car up off the air off the ground in the air so we can get up under there, see what's going on. But never ever go under a car without using your safety equipment. Always highly recommend you use a jack stand, safety stand, before you crawl under any car. Uh, no matter if you're just going to be under there for a few seconds or if you're going to be under there for some time. Use safety equipment. It's not worth it. No job is worth risking your life over. Let me jack the car up and get it about six inches off the ground that would be good enough. We'll set our stand. And the pinch wheel of the car let's go up a little bit more. go all right now we're good to go okay this is our fuel pump and filter assembly it's got two pumps uh, one that pulls from the tank uh, and the other one sends it to the engine under pressure and you can see right here we're having a leak at this uh, banjo fitting we believe that the the brass washers have been worn out Possibly. I thought we're going to try first of all. See how that does. Okay, first step is you're going to want to loosen the nut that's holding this top banjo fitting, 17 millimeter wrench. I've already broken it free. I was going to have to loosen the uh, the bolt on the fuel filter and the line going to the fuel pressure regulator so that you'll be able to maneuver all of this uh, line off of off of that um, top pump to get the back washer off of there once you get that off there'll be a washer a brass washer back here there was one on the front and it's stuck to the the cap. That's two. And then we're going to replace these two as well. Slide your new brass washer on there. Replace your banjo fitting. Sorry. Now replace your secondary washer. And then you can put a couple of threads on your nut so nothing falls apart while you try to line up the rest of this tubing. 
just a little bit of a challenge okay once you get all that tightened up real good and tight let's start on the next one That fitting is going to be 19 millimeter on this line. I don't have to hold that. Okay, it looks like there's some sort of special service tool maybe that holds this pump from spinning. And I don't want to damage this copper tubing coming from the top pump down here. So I'm going to use the impact. Uh, to break this nut loose and hold on to the copper tubing. I always have you a catch pan handy to catch anything spilling out. You notice I took my gloves off, the gasoline ate through my uh, uh, my vinyl gloves. Well, I don't know if they were vinyl, neoprene or something. But anyway, we take that, that nut off and you can see we have two washers here also, the exact same size. There's the, the first one. The second one's going to be behind this banjo fitting here. I'm going to let the gas drain out of there for a little while for I attempt that. don't want to make a big mess. Okay, it's just going to continue to leak, so I decided to go ahead and work around that. Get the first washer on. Whenever you're working with gas, remember always do it in a well ventilated area. I'm outside. Or, uh, most definitely no smoking, no sparks, no anything. Put the first washer on. I'm going to try to slide this cable back on. Okay, got the line back on both washers and the cap and I'm going to hit it pretty good with the impact 19 millimeter get it to seal up so pump starts turning a little bit on I'm going to stop yeah I don't want to damage anything alright we've replaced those two seals now let's uh, power the pump up and see what happens okay what we're going to do and cycle the key a couple of times and pressurize the entire fuel system cycle for two seconds and the pump will turn off and the ignition back off and this time we're going to start the vehicle and the fuel pressure Build up some fuel pressure. Let's go see how we're looking. Yeah, it's still bad. Let's see how it's looking. I don't see any fuel leaking out. So we get this thing to run and stay running. Oh. Hasn't been started in a while. Old car. The gentleman in Wozit even out of the country right now. Looks like it may even be out of gas. <laughs> that could highly possibly be the problem. And it's still on the jack stand, so tank is most definitely not even. I don't know, let's at least inspect for solve our leak problem. Ugh. 
Hi, George. I believe we've done it. It's got some exhaust leaks, though. Turn that off. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's another job well done. And remember, as always, thanks for watching, and if you don't feel like you can do this job yourself, you're always welcome to call me. I'll be glad to come help you out any way I can. Thanks again. Have a good day. What's your bike?